Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Action Figure Friday where I like to take a look at some new cool toys and check out their molds, their sculpts, their paintwork, their articulation, their overall fun factor. And today we are here with part one of a two-part series. We are here to check out the whole wave one of Ghostbusters Plasma Series, new from Hasbro. So yes, I did get the whole wave. Yes, I typically open a whole wave in one video, but you know what? These are not cheap and um, the house is expensive and I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, trying to, trying to balance out. So we're gonna do this in two parts. We're gonna open up the first three and then in a future video, we'll open up the, third, the other three and we will build the terror dog. I wasn't sure I was gonna get these because um, when I saw them online, I wasn't terribly in love with them. But when I saw them in store, I was like, actually, these look pretty darn good. So I was gonna check them out. They had the whole wave and I bought them at Target for $20 a piece. And then yesterday I went to Walmart and saw they had the whole wave for $15 a piece, so that sucks. But anyways, <laughs> like I'm never in Walmart. It's one of the rare times. I was looking for uh, Casey Jones, but this is going to be pretty cool. I just rewatched Ghostbusters again last night for like the 18,000th time. This time in 4K, though. The 4K disc looks pretty darn good. A little dark in the blacks, but other than that, it's a real fun time. And even for a movie that I've watched hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times in my lifetime, still picking up little jokes and new references here or there, things I never grabbed before. Little facial things, little characters in the background, uh, uh, background actors that aren't really acting terrified when they should be. You know, so lots of little fun things like that. But we're going to check this out, and we're going to start with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Peter Vankman. Vinkman? Vinkman? Vonkman? Vinkman? Vink man, hello Vink man. Let me get these guys out of the way. So these are kind of the toys I would have really wanted when I was a kid. Of course they didn't make these like that back then. We had the real Ghostbusters, which are also awesome. And I thought about getting those, the reissues, but we'll see. So we got a little piece of paper here. It's probably gonna be the warning label that we get with all these. So we'll just look at it this one time in this video for those of you that are super curious about these things. We'll hold on that long enough for you to pause if you want to read all that. I don't know who would do that. Comment below if you're the person that would read all that stuff. But I try to be thorough in my unboxings. And uh, so the plastic is all with the figure. That's kind of neat, the way that uh, box actually works. So does this slide out? This actually slides out. So is that a background? Huh. No, it's not really a background per se. I mean, you could save it as a background. I like it, kind of nice. Kind of like the schematics of the Proton Pack. That's pretty fun. Okay, so that's interesting that that's how that works. So we're gonna set that to the side. And uh, okay, so this is interesting. Um, he does not come with any kind of proton effect, but I noticed Winston does. So that's really strange to me. But we'll find out more about that as we go along. He does come with a trap, no cables attached. And of course a terror dog leg. Get that out of the way, we'll deal with that later. Get the beautiful, beautiful Proton Pack and Proton Wand out. And now the guy comes out barely, super easy. Half expecting Mary to yell from the other room. <laughs> yeah, this feels pretty good. Looks pretty good too for a $15, $20 figure. Not bad. The face on Bill Murray looks really good. It's not 100% accurate. I don't know, it looks, it looks like if Bill Murray had a less successful brother, but it still looks nice, so I'll take it. You get the patch on there. Looks like we're getting um, Star Wars Black Series level of build and quality here, which is pretty good. So you got a hinged and ball jointed shoulder there. You got a right up at the above the bicep. You get a nice double hinged elbow, which is gonna look pretty good because of the elbow pad. We do have a little bit of stiff joint issue going on here with some of it. You get some rock, paper, scissor, and plenty of twist there. So mid torso, looks like it's somewhat ball jointed. Soft rubber on the belt. Oh, it does look like we will be able to clip, I was wondering about this, to clip the proton wand to the side if we want, because I was noticing that. I never really noticed that before in the movies that sometimes they have their proton wands down there, not just on the back. And of course he can do the splits with his ball jointed hinged uh, thighs, and of course upper spin there. What am I, I can't think what that's called. Got some real stiff joints on the double knee which looks, you know, about as good as it's gonna look for a figure like this, sadly. Just not fig arts quality. <laughs> and you kinda get that weird ball jointed, hinged -y foot going on. You do get feet pegs, of course, on all of them. Overall, pretty good though, looks pretty nice, so pretty happy with that. Let's take a quick look here at the Proton Pack and all the little delicate details, that's nice. Does look like you can probably put your wand up there, yep, it has the hole to put the wand up there. So you could. 
have it there. We'll find out how it pins in if I'm correct. Oh, you know what? It's probably the trap that's gonna pin in on his belt, not his, hmm, maybe not. I don't know what pins on the belt there. It should technically be the proton wand. Interesting. It's got his uh, little walkie talkie there. Unfortunately, that does not come out. But let's get the proton pack on the back. Oh, it actually goes around the waist. Okay, how does this work? Ah, I see we have a pegged in piece here. So we'll just undo that. Slide him on, get his head under there, get this pegged into his back so it sits nice and comfy. Oh, that fits real good. Let me pull that back around. So I do love that, of course, these do come off. I think that's really nice. You can stack them. I wonder if they'll ever give us an Ecto-1. They've made countless versions of these figures, so I don't know. It's interesting that they do that. I'm not really sure where we would hang this off his belt if we were going to. Because, I mean, it should theoretically kind of be able to hang something like that, but that's fine. We'll just put it up here. Or we can get it in his... Yeah, actually, we'll put it up here, and we'll do just like in the movie. I think it was his hand. It might have been his other hand, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe this hand. This hand will hold it better, perhaps. Although he was holding it by cables, not so much the actual trap handle, but... Hey, look, we got one! Nice. Yeah, I've always loved Ghostbusters. My love for Ghostbusters is coming back hard lately. I may have to get some stuff at Halloween, if there is a Halloween. Now let's check out Raymond Stance. Stance, Stance. Good old Danny Boy Aykroyd. I like this kind of, is it Art Deco? Would that be the style? And I do love that we get some, um, you know, descriptors. We get a little bit of the character arc here, a little bit of the story. You can see that we're gonna build the Vince Clortho Devil Dog. I don't know if they have enough characters to do a second wave to build the other one, though. <laughs> I mean, you could do a Walter Peck, a Louis Tully, a Janine. Um, and I'm surprised they didn't do a Slimer. But who else would you do? I guess you would have to do some, like, plain clothes Ghostbusters, like Zed Moore in his, uh, like, street attire or something. I guess you could do the mayor and the priest. I don't know. <laughs> there is tape there, yeah? There is tape there. All right, there we go. Got it, got it, got it. And come on, got it. And get this out of the way, pop that out like that. More of the same warning paper. And slide Ray on out. And no effect part for him either. So that's very strange that it looks like only Winston gets an effect part. Like at that point, why do it for any of them? Because now I can only ever have one Ghostbuster blast in at once. That's so strange. We get the other leg. We'll look at all that more when we actually build the figure. I do like that we get the goggles. Yeah, I was just looking over. Egon comes with the PKE. Come on now. Get out of that box. It's not taped. I just did a poor job of getting it out of the box. There we go. Pack out. Come on. Come on. Man. There we go. Proton wand. And... Ray himself. Uh, that face looks a lot better. Well, I wouldn't say a lot better, but it still looks really good. Pretty happy with how he turns out. Pretty much the same belt. Now, see, he has a hook on there. So I guess maybe we can hook that on there? Or I guess that's to hook the... Uh, I guess that's to drop these on there. It's probably what they're expecting you to do. They aren't going to stay there very well, though. Okay, but, you know, I mean, pretty much the same thing. I mean, they basically used the same... No, they have not used the same body. He is molded to have a little bit of a little bit of a gut going compared to to good old slim old Bill there. Hands look similar. Everything looks fairly similar here, so I'm not really going to run down. The articulation is going to be the same. I like that it's slightly unzipped there. All right, well, let's get a proton pack on him and see what he looks like. And get the goggles on as well. I guess you could do a slimed Peter. That would be another character you could do from this. I do hope they move on though and make like a series two or a, you know some from the second movie because I would like to have movie accurate versions of those. And I know there have been releases before from other companies, but I just thought these actually kind of work for me. And maybe we can get an Ecto-1 at some point. That'd be nice as well. The scale where I can even put their uh, proton packs in the back and stuff. That'd be fun. All right, let's see what a proton wand looks like in a hand for him. Maybe. 
We'll clip through here where it's a little bit easier to get it in the hand and we'll do the slidey technique. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> come on, come on, come on now. Uh, hi Mary, bye Mary. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my God, okay, I'm having a lot of trouble. Here, wait, 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 wait for it. Ah, soft plastic, man. I mean, he should be able to get that in. I'm gonna bend his hand out a little, see what we can do here. That, the fact that I'm struggling with this is a little bit worrisome, because, you know, I want him to hold his proton wand. I didn't actually try to get Mr. Murray to do it. There we go. No. No. What? I mean, he needs to be able to hold it. They didn't, or they poorly designed the toys and that greatly reduces the value if he can't hold his weapon. You know, I mean, hmm. I mean, he wasn't, was he left-handed? Am I doing it wrong in that regard? <laughs> I mean, I just rewatched the movie last night, but I wasn't, <coughs> excuse me, paying attention to which hand held the wand. How? Now, at least I got the, uh, the cable through. Can I, <clears throat> Can we get the wand in there? There we go, we finally did it. Finally went and did it. The stiff joints don't help in a lot of ways. And I guess he's technically kind of holding it there. So, okay. <sighs> Let's get the goggles on. <laughs> that was frustrating, to be honest. Let's see, which direction do they go? I guess they go like this. Will they actually go down on his head? Or maybe I have them on upside down? Nope, they will not go down on his head, unlike the ghost in his dreams. And that got a giggle from Mary. Huh, going down to check on the kitties. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate that these won't actually go down over his head, and they don't really want to stay on there that well either. Again, I might have them upside down, but either way, it's a rather tight fit. So the accessories are a bit of a bummer. So maybe I don't care so much about a Series 2. I guess you can get it over his eyes, you're just really gonna have to stretch to make that work. So I'm just gonna leave him up on his head for now. Push that good and down so it'll stay. But there you go, there's Ray. Okay. You know, Proton Pack I'm sure is the same. Doesn't look like there's any real differences going on. They've just used the same mold over and over. All right, well, in that case, let's uh, get on the Spangler here because this is definitely taking a little longer than I intended. And I got another one of these to film. This is my work day. I got a lot of filming still to do today. And a lot of editing to do too because after I film it all, I got to edit it all. All right, put a warning paper. And I've already shot a lot of talking today, so I'm ready to stop talking. And again, no effect part, so that is a bummer. And we get another leg. All the legs. Got a PKE meter here. It looks like it has pieces that would break easy. Hopefully I'm wrong and won't. Come on, come on, there we go. That all came out. And Mr. Harold Ramos, step on up. So he looks pretty good. The paint around, the mold and the paint around the glasses is weird though, look at that. They didn't actually like mold the glasses out, like so the flesh on his face goes out to reach the edge of the glasses, which is very strange, but the expression is very nice. Um, he looks like he might have the same body as Pete. Everything else here looks pretty much the same. He's got a peg there instead of a hook. Alrighty. I'm sure he can handle the PKE meter. He better be able to handle the PKE meter. But let's get the, uh, the pack on so he be ready. Cause they be fast, we be slow. Wait, no, we be fast, they be slow. Two in the box, ready to go. We be fast, they be slow. Except I think that was from part two actually, now that I say that out loud. You know what they say after the Scolari brothers. All right, so I'm just gonna put his wand up on his uh, pack cause he's gonna hold on to the PKE meter today. Hopefully, if we're lucky. Yes, this does have a peg, so it does actually go there if you want it to, but I want it in his hand. Let's see if this goes in easier than Ray's proton wand or neut neutron wand, proton wand. I think it, you know, now that I've been saying it, I'm not entirely sure I'm saying it right. So you can certainly correct me in the comments if you'd like. Okay, that actually did go in there fairly easy and correctly. 
Cool. Let me get this back up here where it belongs, though. Come on. Come on. Click. And again, same proton pack and everything. This is what the PKE meter looks like. All right, well, there you go. That is round one of wave one. We'll do round two in a week or two. Won't make you wait too long. But there's the Hasbro uh, Plasma Series. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Plasma Series Ghostbusters action figures. Let me know, what do you think about these? Um, I think they're pretty good looking. I would like for the wands to be able to hook here. I would like for the trap to have cables. I'd like for the hands to work a little bit easier with the things. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with these. I dig them. I think they'd be better price pointed at the $15 if you get them in a Walmart than a 20. But I mean, that's kind of typical of how these things go. But let me hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out with me in the comments. Who else should they make? Would you like to see a movie too? Would you like to see them even do the, uh, the 2016 version in this style just so you can kind of have the universes cross over like the comics? You know, be nice. And then I assume we'll get Afterlife in this style, which would be kind of nice as well. But let me hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out in the comments below. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged, if you want to. And now I'm going to get on out of here so I can go watch some more stuff and open up some more toys, is what I should say. And I'll see you all later. Later.